Breaking news now, an official from Russia is seeking to negotiate with Hamas in order to free hostages. Russian news agency RIA Novosti reported on Saturday that Moscow's deputy foreign minister Mikhail Bogdanov planned to travel to Qatar next week to meet with representatives of the Palestinian group Hamas in an effort to negotiate the release of Israeli hostages. As a potential mediator in the conflict between Israel and Hamas, Moscow has so far been extremely careful in its denunciation of violence on both sides. During an interview with RIA Novosti, Bogdanov said that he did not exclude the possibility of meeting with Hamas representatives during the trip. The release of hostages is just one of many immediate concerns that could be addressed at such a meeting. Hundreds of Hamas gunmen breached Israel's heavily fortified border with the Gaza Strip on October 7, killing over 1,200 people and kidnapping about 150 Israelis, foreigners, and dual nationals. Moscow's diplomatic ties to both the Israeli and Palestinian governments remain strong. Putin, the president of Russia, said the country could aid in finding a solution to the crisis, and the announcement of Bogdanov's efforts came a day later. Putin, while visiting Kyrgyzstan on Friday, said, Russia can help because we have had good relations with Israel over the last 15 years. Moreover, he warned that Israel could be conducting an unacceptable siege of Gaza. Russia's president has said a Palestinian state is necessary to end hostilities. Russia, whose soldiers have been fighting in Ukraine for nearly two years, has accused the West of sparking the Israeli conflict, Russia has launched a massive offensive against eastern Ukraine, but Kiev insists its defenses are holding, after launching a massive assault around the city of Avdiivka in eastern Ukraine, Russia has taken heavy casualties. According to President Volodymyr Zelensky, Russia has lost hundreds of armored vehicles in the fighting, Ukrainian officials have reported a vicious Russian assault on and around the city, complete with massive artillery barges and heavily armored vehicles. The head of the military administration in Avdiivka, Vitaly Barabash, reported non-stop fighting on Ukrainian television. He declared, We've been at war for four days now. Intense and relentless, they're unleashing their full arsenal. The night in Avdiivka was scorching. The city has been bombed from the air multiple times, and the attacks continue at all hours, since Ukraine launched their counteroffensive in June, this attack is one of the few large-scale ones Russia has launched. It has been speculated by officials that this is an effort to shift Ukrainian troops away from other fronts. According to Kiev, Russian forces have surrounded the city with tanks and troops in an attempt to encircle the Ukrainian defense. Located to the northwest of Russian-controlled Donetsk, Via the so-called Donetsk People's Republic, Avdiivka has been under Russian occupation since 2014. Barabash continued, when they first started the offensive on the 10th of October, they used a lot of vehicles. Not so much by the next day. And again yesterday they used armored vehicles, moved in columns, deployed a large number of vehicles, and brought in new troops.